build strength, improve flexibility and mobility in this full body movement routine. When you're ready, roll out your mat and let's get started. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and like and comment to let me know how you got on in this practice today. Coming on down to the center of your mat, let's take a moment to come to standing and then take a nice deep breath in, placing the hands on the hips and let's take some little hip circles here. So we're just gonna gently open up this whole body, taking in that mobility movement practice before really working into our functional work here. So let's shift through the hips, moving forwards and back, finding a deeper circle each time, really reaching the body forward, and release it all the way back. Switching direction all the way through, really reaching that body forward, lengthening through the body and then reach it all the way back. Well done. Deep breaths in and out, exhaling and inhaling as you rise up. From here, sweep the arms up high to the sky and then let's circle out through the upper body now. So keep the upper body braced and start to work through from the upper body and then working all the way down into the lower body. So we're starting to engage the whole of the body as we imagine drawing a circle on the ceiling. Inhaling and exhaling. If you haven't changed direction yet, change direction. Inhale and exhale. From here, we're going to take it all the way down and around. Now we're going to actually really take this full circle. So you're going to go from one side to the other. Inhale and then exhale. Go to the other side and back up. And we're really looking now to try and take a twist through the torso. So as you come down, you're sweeping down, facing in, and then you're opening up the body as you come up. Exhale down and in. Open up the body. Rise. Exhale. Inhale. From here, exhaling, inhale, rise, reach your arms up high to the sky, reach up nice and tall, full body stretch. And then we're going to reach up and over to your right hand side, finding a gentle pulse here, opening up that side body. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to rise back up to center and we'll switch sides coming into the other side and find that nice deep stretch into those ribs. And really finding that stretch coming down into the hip and up into the shoulders. From here, take another deep breath in and rise back up to centre. Taking a deep breath in, inhale, full body stretch. And then gently lean back into the stretch, opening up the back before sweeping the arms down and then reaching up high to the sky. So let's start to really mobilise into the hips, the knees, the ankles and the toes. Inhaling to rise and exhaling to release. So really work with this breath. This is going to help us really open up the whole body. Exhale and inhale, rise. Exhaling, inhaling. Let's take one more round here. Inhale, rise. Making a full body stretch, interlacing the hands, pressing the palms away, inhaling and exhale. Let's take a few little shoulder shrugs here. So rolling the shoulders all the way back. Again, connecting that into the knees as well. So we're softening down into the knees and rolling the shoulders back. Let's take some little sweeps side to side, taking the arms out, up into the toes, the ankles, really finding that full body stretch now as we mobilise through the torso, the shoulders, the hips, the knees and the ankles and toes. Take a nice deep breath in, exhaling out before coming to our centre. So coming into tabletop, we're going to take our little knee touches, drawing the knee to the back of the elbow and then switching sides. Try and keep the body square, really parallel to the floor, about an inch away from the floor, engaging our core. From here, send the bum back, release, and then reach back. So now we're going to this more of a bent knee down dog position, where we're really trying to gently open up into the hamstrings and the hips, releasing the head down between the arms, opening up the shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, send the bum back, inhale, draw it forward. Last time, we're going to exhale and drive the bum up to the sky and then send the knees to the floor this time. So again, finding this movement coming from the knees up to the sky, knees, and then back up to the sky. 
inhaling and exhaling as you do so, really finding that movement again through the shoulders as well, spreading the fingertips nice and wide on the mat so we're really getting that good grip into the mat. From here, take a gentle twist from one side and then to the other. So we're going to do a couple of these really just swiveling through the toes and the feet, finding that ankle mobility, finding that movement into the hips, into the knees, keep moving through and then jump forward coming into our functional squat. So we're shifting side to side here. We're finding a little bit of movement into those toes now as well as those ankles and you're looking to really keep the body up nice and tall. You can take your hands away if you prefer or maybe alternate them as I'm doing here, inhaling and exhaling. And then from here we're going to take our internal rotation. So you're going to rotate the knee in towards the center line and then switch sides with the hands away from the mat now. From here, let's ground down into the hands and we're going to take ourselves into a crow. So we're taking the knees behind the back of the elbows. Now you can either keep your toes down on the floor if you want, or for those who are ready to balance, draw the feet off the floor, actioning your legs against the backs of the arms. Inhale and exhale, release. Take the feet back down to the ground. And then we're going to take our walks. So staying low to the ground, we want to be shifting the body forward and then twisting round and coming back down the other end of the mat. If you want to go a little bit further, or if you're doing this at home, you can, of course, walk a little bit longer down your mat or down the carpet, whatever's easiest, and moving along. Switch round. So you're looking to kind of try and swivel on the toes as you go for your turn. As you get to the back of the mat now, we're going to come into plank pose, into a narrow press up, bringing the body forward, drive the body up, and then exhale, come down. Inhale, drive the body up, and exhale. So really finding strength in the back of those triceps before coming over into our side plank. Take a nice deep breath in, reach your arm overhead, and then we're going to take some circles here. So again, opening up those shoulders, sweeping the arms around, inhaling and exhaling. Keep the core strong, drive the hips up to the sky, inhale and exhale. One final inhale, rise up high to the sky, reaching up tall. Take the left leg behind you and drive the hips up to the sky. Then take the right leg over and we're going to drive the hips up to the sky again. So nice and slow to start with here. So let's come back over, come into our plank position, into our narrow tricep press, all the way up to the sky, inhaling as we drive up, exhale as you come down. Inhale, drive exhale come down if you need to do this on your knees that's absolutely fine and then from here we're going to rise back up come into our side plank and take the right arm overhead nice deep breaths in and then sweep those arms around inhaling and exhaling amazing work inhale exhale inhale and exhale great work guys keep it going deep breath in and exhale it out. Well done. From here, take that right leg all the way behind you. Find that back bend, inhaling. And then exhale, take the left leg behind you and come into your back bend on the other side. Take a nice deep breath in, come back round to centre, bend into the knees, walk the hands back towards the feet here. And grounding down, we're going to walk the hands back out in front of us. Come into that plank, walk the hands all the way back again. So again, just working into those hips and knees, come up into the knees, into the toes, walk the hands back out in front this time, and then exhale, walk it back. So we're starting to find that balance in the toes now, hands in front, and then we're going to jump forward. So we're going to come forward into a plank, into our narrow press up, and then walk it back. So try that again if you can. Hands above you, reach forward, jump, come forward, come into our narrow press up, and walk it back. Let's try that one more time. Back is up tall. And when you're ready, sweep the arms back and reach it forward. Narrow press up, drive it up and then walk those hands back. Let's do that one last time. So take your time here. Take a nice deep breath in. Sweep the arms forward, jumping forward. Narrow press up, all the way up. 
and this time jump the right foot to the outside of the right hand, right arm up to the sky, twisted lunge, and then sweep under. So we're now going to get his torso twist in. So reach your right arm underneath you and then inhale to rise. Exhale inhale so really thinking of opening up into the lats working through the waistline and then we're going to switch sides and take the left leg to the outside left hand left arm up to the sky opening up those hips before reaching under and opening through the torso again on the left side inhaling and exhaling great work keep it going deep breaths in as you reach up Exhale as you reach under. Really try to get the shoulder underneath you. Inhale, ground the hands down. Take the feet back. Look ahead. Step the right foot out and then the left foot out. So we're switching sides now. We'll cover this monkey. So we're switching into alternate sides. Inhaling and exhaling. Great work. We're going to do that one more time. And then we're going to take that left leg up and over and kick it up and out into that back bend. Switch it around this time, taking the left leg underneath you, right arm back, and then switching back over into that back bend. So switch. And now we're going to go into our narrow press up, drive it up and then take the right leg back. So pushing up into that back bend, take the right leg underneath you and then right leg back behind you, drive it up back into our plank pose, back into narrow press up, and then some here, switch sides again. So we're going back into the left side, then left leg under as we switch under, and left leg back over, drive those hips up. Switch sides, coming into our narrow press up, and coming to the right side. So right leg behind, right leg under, right leg behind, drive the hips up, and exhale, hands to centre. Bend into the knees, slowly ripple that body all the way forward. Sink the hips down, roll the shoulders back and open up that back. Great work. Release all the way down to the floor. Take your feet up to the sky, feet are flex, and we're just going to take some press ups here. So we're going to open up into the back. We're working on the flexibility through the hips and the shoulders and really finding that joint mobility as well here. From here, sweep the body under and come into your back. And we're going to extend the legs out in front of us and then see if we can reach up into a tuck to the sky. So reach your arms down to the floor and legs up to the sky and then out in front of you. Reach, extend, reach and extend. We will be working this into a plow shortly. So we're going to drive up to that tuck and reach and extend and reach all the way back now. So sending the feet all the way to the floor, hands behind the back to support it, and then reach the right leg up to the sky, left leg extends, and then switch legs. Now, if you are struggling with this or you can't quite get your feet to the ground, that's not important. Just find what feels right for you today. If you can, you go and place your hands on the floor. Otherwise, keep supporting that back as you alternate those legs, engaging the core. The weight should not be in your neck. Here you're going to slowly lower the knees and then you're going to roll up into a squat position, jump back and take it back into that narrow press up, drive it up, inhaling as we come up, exhale, bend the knees and now walk the feet towards your hands. So you're going to walk it all the way in, come into a forward fold and then you're going to walk the feet all the way back again. From here, we're going to walk the hands forward to the top of your mat. So the full length onto our hollow body. Hold it here. Keep that core strong and bend into the elbows as we drive up and down. So working into the triceps, working that core and then walk the feet all the way back in up to those fingertips again. Nice deep breath in. Keep the legs as straight as you can. Release the body down the front of the legs. Then let's walk the feet all the way back. We're going to repeat that hollow body. So take the legs all the way out. Take the arms forward. And we're going to sink those elbows to the floor for our presses for one, two, three, four, five, six. And then walk the feet all the way back in again. So try and keep those legs as straight as you can as you walk them towards the hands. 
exhale, bring that forward fold in, inhaling and exhaling. Let's inhale, take the hands to the shins and we're going to go up and down the shins. So opening up into the hamstrings, into these hamstring pulses, reaching up and down. Again, just find what feels right for you. You might not be coming quite so low as me or you may be lower than me. Nice deep breath in and out. Make sure that back is lovely and flat before taking the hands underneath your toes or your feet, whichever is available to you. Inhaling and exhaling. Take a nice deep breath in as you lengthen the back, maybe lengthening the arms and then pulsing down into this stretch. So we're really finding a little bit more of an oscillatory movement here before releasing the hands out and then walk it round to the centre line of your mat. We're going to come into our little side lunges now. So as you do so, you're turning the toes out and up to the ceiling. Use your hands to support you, inhaling and exhaling. So opening those inner thighs, finding that nice deep stretch into the groin and then take a little pulse here up and down. Again, don't force this, just find a gentle pulse before moving into the other side, inhaling and exhaling. If you are struggling here, you could always use some blocks to give you a little bit more height. And then from here, we're going to take an internal rotation of the right leg, drawing our body down into a forward fold. As you inhale, unravel that leg, take the right arm behind you, left arm behind you as you drive it up into a hip phrase. And then take the hands all the way to the opposite side of the mat. And we're going to come into the outer blades of the feet. So you're going to find this deep side stretch into the outer thigh here. Left arm up to the sky, right arm to the ground. Take your time. Walk your hands over to centre. Take the feet in a little bit narrower again. And then we're going to go into our left side. Take the left knee, roll it in. Take our forward fold. And then you can take the right arm behind you, left arm up high to the sky, hips up to the sky. And then we're going to exhale. As we exhale, we're going to rotate all the way around to the other end of the mat. So you're turning through the ankles all the way out into the outer blade of the back leg. And then right arm up high to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. And slowly rotate back to centre. And then from here, gently release the arms, extend the arms, release, extend, jump the feet back to centre, come into a little ball and give yourself a hug. Thanking yourself today for this practice, for finding mobility, flexibility and strength. Slowly roll the body all the way up, reach the arms up high to the sky and release. Thank you so much. See you again soon.